So once you have your project created, uh, you can start creating tasks. And uh, you can either look at, uh, at the old projects or you can look at the my projects and uh, you can get into the project and within the project you would see those different tabs. You can start creating uh, tasks, resource requests, issues and risks related to this project. Here I'll show you how to create a new task and different tasks within that project. So you can, you can um, either click on that open in, in project uh, button and do it there or just simply click on that task tab and this would land you on that modern interface of project for the web and uh, within PPM 365 you will be able to quickly add tasks to this project. So we're going to add a few tasks here. So task A, task B, and um, task B, and task C. Okay. So uh, this quickly uh, creating, uh, this is how we could quickly add these tasks. We can also say, who do we want this be assigned to? And this is going to be maybe someone else here assigned and to this task it automatically creates a group. So all the features of, of the uh, project for the web, I'm gonna quickly add an admin here because I'm the, uh, one of the admins here on this environment, quickly add some resources to it. I can quickly add, maybe it's a five days task here. And um, we can also look at the, let's say a level of effort, 80, 40 hours. It's automatically kind of taking into account how many people you're assigned to the task and so on. So best practices is, or best scheduling, best practices and scheduling being, being preserved in, in Microsoft PPM and uh, PPM 365. You can also uh, look at this in the board and look at the different buckets or switch to uh, the progress buckets and then even quickly say that some of these tasks are already in progress. And you can also switch to the timeline where you can, in addition to that, maybe set some dependencies which would also ultimately drive the, uh, would drive the dates and the timeline. So now this project is kind of in a better shape uh, formalized where we have some tasks started and they're linked and uh, uh, there are these there's this new um, there are these tasks being created maybe this is going to be a complete uh, complete task and maybe this is going to be a milestone go back to the grid and make it a zero duration and going back to the timeline this would make this as a milestone so that's that's uh, that's it. That's how quickly you can add tasks to your PPM 365 environment. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll be right there.